This is a CBS 4 News update. I'm Elliot Rodriguez with a CBS 4 News update. The Parkland shooter has pleaded guilty to murder in the 2018 massacre that left 17 dead. A jury will now decide whether he will be executed for one of the nation's deadliest school shootings. Relatives of the victims who sat in the courtroom and watched the hearing via Zoom shook their heads or broke down in tears when he addressed them during the hearing. Judge Elizabeth Shearer plans to screen thousands of prospective jurors for the death penalty phase of the case. Hearings are scheduled throughout November and December with the goal to start testing testimony in January. Family, friends and fellow officers came together to remember Officer Yandy Chirino, who died in the line of duty. Dozens gathered outside the Hollywood Police Department last night for a vigil remembering the 28-year-old officer. Chief Chris O'Brien vowed that justice will be served. 18-year-old Jason Benegas appeared in bond court on murder charges. In court documents, police say Officer Chirino and Benegas were fighting on the ground when Benegas pulled the trigger of the stolen gun and shot the officer in the face. The FDA is scheduled to meet next week to discuss authorizing Pfizer's vaccine for children ages 5 to 11, and the CDC will meet the following week. The Biden administration is taking steps to give kids the shots if and when that authorization happens. The plan is to give vaccines in places like hospitals, pharmacies, and schools. The administration is also planning an educational campaign to ease concerns. For adults, the FDA could authorize the mix and match of different vaccines as booster shots as soon as today. And that's our news for now. You can always watch us on CBSMiami.com and turn to CBS4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11 for all the day's headlines.